So here we have the, it's a Toshiba 350 horsepower AC stator core. Came in for repair. As you can see, the laminations are damaged on the inside. So basically what we're gonna do is reverse engineer the whole unit, laser cut and stack a new core and install it into the frame. So this motor actually came out of a steel mill. As you can see, the laminations inside have been damaged, like in here, how these teeth are kind of like bent up. Something could have broke loose, perhaps. Um, you can see something actually really carved a chunk out of here. So basically step one, we received the stator core in. We're gonna take some initial measurements on this core before we go ahead and take it out. We'll end up laser cutting, stacking, welding the new core, installing that back into the stator frame, and we'll send that out to our customer ready to be wound. After we receive it in, we'll unpack it, we'll bring it over to our engineering department, and we'll get some measurements on the core as received. All right, so one of the key measurements is the overall stack length. So we'll use a set of calipers to get the overall core length. We'll check it at a few different areas to ensure accuracy. So once we have the initial, the original stack length confirmed, that's a, a key dimension that will go on to the final drawing. And that's essentially what we'll rebuild the new stator core to. Another key measurement is the, the size of the slots. We'll get an overall slot depth the width of the slot, also very critical dimensions that we want to make sure we replicate exactly on the as found stator. So this, this particular stator design, the core is actually welded outside and then it's actually pressed into the frame. So this is a very tight fit into the frame. So the next step basically is we're gonna heat this up and we're gonna remove the core for the next step of reverse engineering. First thing is we gotta determine how this core is held into place and there's two pins here that are actually going to hold this core into the frame so we've taken our measurements already the next step is going to be to remove these pins so we can actually pull the stator core out and get further measurements from there so we've moved the stator core over to the machine shop we have it set up on the drill press the next step is just going to be to drill out the pins that are holding the stator core into the frame We're at the point now where the stator core has been removed from the frame. The pins that were drilled out and it was removed, we cut through the welds so that we could get the laminations out. I can take those over okay. uh, to Scott. Um, how's the end plates on these? Uh, I'm gonna. I think we can reuse them. I'm gonna pull these off. Okay. And we're gonna have Jerry inspect them for flatness and okay. stuff. Okay. But uh, yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Appreciate it. So now we have a couple sample lamps here. We'll take these over to the quality department. Put them on our CMM get accurate measurements on everything and we'll put together a full uh, CAD drawing.